This video will briefly cover configuring SNMP on eDirector 8.8 for Linux. Here's some documentation links and a link to a MIB browser which I like to use. First off, you start by editing the Etsy SNMP, snmpd.conf. Here you will see that you need to change the IP address for the trap sync as well as the local IP address of the server. Then you'll go ahead and configure SNMP via the NDS SNMP config command. You'll disable all traps, then you'll enable the ones you which you want to see. You will also need to configure a user that is used by the SNMP subagent. Here are the rights that you'll need. Then you'll go ahead and configure the services to start automatically on reboot and you'll also start the services manually the first time. To verify the configuration is right, you'll go and use the uh, MIB browser as mentioned before to this location. And we're going to go into a putty session and show you basically what you need to do in order to see what's going on. Okay, you can see those changes in the file at the bottom there. And then we're going to go ahead and disable all the traps. We need to log in. And then we're going to go ahead and enable all the traps that we want to go ahead and enable. And then we're going to go ahead and uh, enable all the services to automatically start. Just note, as in the callout, you'll see here is well, the first time you run the NDS SNMPSA, you'll actually be prompted for authentication and also whether or not if you want to store that authentication. Uh, if you don't store it, you'll get prompted every time you want to restart that service. And that's it for configuration on the server. We're going to go ahead and go to the MIB browser, and you need to first off load the eDirectory MIB, which is right there. It's located uh, on every server where eDirectory is installed. We're going to go ahead and connect to the local server. And then we're going to browse out to the Novell specific information on that server. Okay. The easiest way to confirm it's working is to actually go ahead and look at the statistics. And so we're going to go browse out to the protocol statistics and you'll see that we're going to just look at a couple different ones on here. Uh, you'll see different OIDs in the details when you do the SNMP gets. Um, they generally end in a 1 or a 2. 1 is going to be NCP related. OIDs and 2 is going to be for LDAP. So some of them may not have values, some of them will um, on both. So it just depends on what you're looking for. And that's about it. From there you'll send your traps and you can uh, monitor your service with SNMP.